Hi, I'm Mike Humphreys, editor of the Armory Life, and today we have the chance to test the Hellcat pistol. This is being released today and is brand new on the market, and I have to admit, it is really exciting. This gun was designed from the ground up to basically be the ultimate concealed carry handgun, so why don't we take a look at it and see if Springfield Armory accomplished its mission. This is a 9mm with an 11 plus 1 capacity in the flush fitting magazine. You'll see that it has a, or the finger extension floor plate on. It also comes with a flat floor plate for swapping out there for even more compact dimensions. In addition to this magazine, it also comes with an extended 13 round magazine. So you get a 13 plus 1 capacity on that. But basically what we're looking at is a 9mm with an 11 plus 1 capacity that weighs around 18 ounces. The pistol is offered in two primary versions. It's offered in the standard model for $569 retail and in the OSP version for $599 retail. Now, what do you get for, the, for that extra $30 for the $599? You get basically the ability to mount a red dot optic like the Shield RMSC optic. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that it is mounted directly to the slide. The way this works is, is the the Hellcat comes with a removable cover plate. You take that off and then you can mount this and similarly configured optics directly to the slide. What it gives you is a very low mount on the optic for keeping with the compact theme of the pistol. You'll also note that it allows for co-witnessing with the included iron sights. And the included iron sights that come on both the standard and the OSP are worth mentioning. Springfield calls them U-dot sights. And basically what they're made up of is a U-notch rear, with a tactical rack ledge. It also has a tritium luminescent front sight dot that is a bright yellow green color that's very easy to pick up. Now, since this optic is mounted so low, you can co-witness these sights through your red dot. So if you wanted to go to a red dot pistol, but you've been nervous about possibly losing battery or damaging the optic and you won't have any sights, that's not a concern with this pistol. Use the red dot. If you don't want to use the red dot, use the iron sights through it. And once again, they have the standard model for 569, which doesn't have a cover plate, but has the same shape and configuration. You just basically have the U dot sights. And, you know, another excellent option. But for only 30 more dollars, I think this is just an amazing option in the Hellcat line. And beyond that, the gun has many, many upgrades and features. When I first saw it, my impression of it was that it had pretty much all the features that I would want a custom gunsmith to do on a gun like this. And I couldn't believe the price because to get all that work done, I think you'd be looking at a $1,000 plus gun. So why don't we go over some of the features? Basically, what we have is a compact striker fired pistol with a consistent double action only style trigger. And you have a high hand beaver tail for really being able to situate the gun low in your hand for more control. At the muzzle, you have a standoff device built into the full length guide rod. So if you were to press this against a target, it would not push the gun out of battery. The gun's built for durability. It has a hammer forged barrel. The three inch barrel's hammer forged. It has a billet slide. Both are melanite coated inside and out for strength and durability. The grip frame itself, the polymer grip frame has what Springfield does the adaptive grip texture and what you'll see that it's you know a section here there's a finger index pad up here for positioning your trigger finger when it's not on the trigger wraps around the back strap also wraps around the front front with some very slight finger grooves in there it's also continued on this finger extension floor plate if you were thinking this was an XD variant you'll notice that it's smooth on the back no grip safety on this gun you also have an access a standard accessory rail here in the dust cover portion of the the uh, pistol's frame for installing your compact light or laser of your choice. Um, those are features that are usually reserved for a full-size handgun, yet Springfield's managed to cram those into this compact little pistol. This gun from the factory is set up almost exactly the way I would want to. It is a great concealed carry gun and a great addition to the market. If you are looking for the ultimate in a 9mm compact CCW pistol, I think the Hellcat deserves a very, very close look. 